what's up welcome back to my channel we are back with another impromptu 11 o'clock at night reaction video to a genshin character this is the character demo for kokomi a thousand waves under the moon i did a video for her teaser character teaser a couple days ago and the character demos are usually where mihoyo shows up like they do a mean character demo. So I'm very excited for this and I have my subtitles on, but I'm going to be covering them. So, yeah, let's 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 get her done. I am very excited. I'm just we're just going to get right into it. We're going to get right into it. Oh my god, I thought it wasn't working for a second. Uh, oh my god, she's so pretty. Her little friends. She is literally the, the prettiest. I just I just had such a good idea. Hold on. Hold on. You see this? Boom. Moving the subtitles up top. I am a genius. I am a tech genius. This is so pretty. Like the... Genshin really is an anime game. Oh. The, and they, they did a pretty font. Ooh, there, wait, there was text there. What, what did the text say? Ooh. The, the, the divine priestess of Watatsubi Island. Hold on, I can't read. All of the island's affairs are at this young lady's fingertips. Oh. They're really going with the mermaid aesthetic, and it's so pretty for her. I just kind of wish they had released her earlier on, because she's such a summer character. Pretty! Her animation is to die for. She's such an aesthetically pleasing character. Oh my god, giving me the anime vibes. Yep, yep. But, oh, that's so pretty. This is such a classic shot for like any anime, like the standing on the sky sort of thing. And they just... Oh, wow. They really went all out. Like, I feel like, not to compare, but with the Red and Shogun demo, it was very like edgy and in your face in such like the best way possible. And this one's so much more subdued and just pretty and it just fits her character so well. So pretty! Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Yes. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. As always, we look for a pretty shot that I can end on. Because I... Where was this? There was like... The shot. The shot. This? Or like... Some, this is so pretty. Like... Mihai? What in the... This is beautiful. I'm bigger. This is so pretty. Mihoyo did not mess around with this teaser. Like I said, in comparison to the Raiden Shogun character demo, it is a lot more subdued. And I do think it might be a bit shorter. However, I feel like with Kokomi, she's the type of character where a lot of her gameplay is going to be more, like better able to be showcased in game, if that makes sense. Cause she is more of like a healing type character. So she definitely works with other characters better than just being on her own. I do wish they had put a little bit more of like gameplay in there cause it's so pretty. But I feel, uh, I just, I wanted more from Kogumi's teaser. Cause I remember just the Raiden Shogun one was so good. And I was kind of like nervous about teasers or character demos going forward not being as flashy as that one. And they don't all have to be flashy. I just, with Kokomi, she's a character that so many people are very divided on because she's beautiful. But then there's like the people who are slaves to the meta and they don't want to pull for her. And I probably won't pull for her just because the next two alleged banners are both ones that I really want. But I really, if there weren't, I would 200% be pulling for Kokomi. I might do like 110 pull and just hope for the best. I don't know. Her banner is very good. The other characters, like the four stars on her banner, amazing. I just, I don't have the money to be pulling on all these banners, Mihoyo, I don't. But she's just such a pretty character. And like for people who play for the aesthetic, oh, it's so good. This is so good. And her weapon, they did showcase it in here a little bit. It's so pretty. 
especially when it's at R5, I was literally considering pulling on the weapons banner. I probably won't because the weapons banner is a scam, but oh my gosh, is it pretty. It's such a pretty weapon. Like if you are a Catalyst person, you you deep play with a lot of Catalyst users, I would, I'd pull on the weapons banner. I don't. I try to put Yanfei on my team every now and then because I do have quite a few good Catalyst weapons for four stars but I, I just don't play with them enough. Anyways, yeah, I could only imagine when Skarmooch comes out and like people who have this weapon, if they put it on him, I feel like that's very fitting. I mean, they're purple, they're both purple. Anyways, that's it for this video. Kind of short because but this, this, this video is only a minute and 50 seconds long. I'm pretty sure I'm covering up the time now, but it's not that long of a video. So take what, take what you will. If you made it this far in the video, which is not that far in the video, comment down below the seashell emoji or, you know, to comment on the moon emoji. Any of the moon emojis, you can do the one that's mildly disturbing, uh, just the regular moon, but that's like, that's like Kokomi's whole thing. And this is so pretty. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone out there is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all in my next video. No Kokomi slander in the comments. That's it. Bye, guys! Bye.